Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you an awesome tool in SketchUp called the Follow Me tool, which you can use to create casework, profiles, and a whole lot more. All right, to start off, let's create our line. So use the line tool, which is L on your keyboard. Click once and you can draw it in any axis. So let's draw it on the green axis and click the second time. Now I'm going to press space bar to get out of that tool. Now let's create our profile so that we can wrap it around this line. So you can either use the rectangle tool or the circle tool, or you can also create your own profile. So let's start by using the rectangle tool. So let's press R on my keyboard. And then what you can do is before you click anywhere or before you create the profile, you will need to change the axis. So tap the left arrow key on your keyboard to change the axis and then click once. And now you can see I'm drawing it on the green axis and you can either give a dimension or you can click the second time to create your shape, which is going to be our profile. All right. So now what you need to do to use the follow me tool, and I'll show you the best way to use the follow me tool as well is to first select the line that you want the profile to be extruded along. So I'm going to click on this line here, which is our path. So make sure to select the path first and then go to tools and then you will find the follow me here below the push pull tool. So you can also assign a shortcut, but I hardly use the follow me tool. But in case you're going to use it a lot, you can assign a shortcut as well. So let's click on follow me and then you need to simply click on the face to create that profile. So let's do the same for the circle tool as well. So this time I'm going to create a line and I'm going to create a line as an L shape. So I'm going to click again to create an L shape line and then I'm going to press space bar to get out of the command. Now let's draw a circle, which is going to be perpendicular to this line. So press C to activate the circle tool and then again, press or tap the left arrow key before you click anywhere. And now you can click on this end point here and you can either give a diameter or a radius. So I'm going to give say about one inch and tap enter. So we have a small one inch circle. Now let's create that profile, which is going to be a pipe along this line. So let's select the path first. So that is step one. Then you need to select the command or the tool, which is follow me. So let's go to tools and click on follow me and then click on the circle tool or the circle there. And now you can see that we've created a pipe. So this is the basic functionality of the follow me tool. Now you can use it in various scenarios. For example, if you want to create a molding. So let me draw a rectangle this time. All right. And let's actually draw our profile. So I'm going to use the line tool this time. And I'm going to click on the edge. And now if I want to make a profile on the blue axis, I'm going to tap the top arrow key. So make sure you get into the habit of using these arrow keys because it snaps when you are drawing stuff in SketchUp. So I'm going to give a height of about say six inches and I'm going to snap it to the red axis. So tap the right arrow key this time. Now I'll give a thickness of about two inches. I'll go down and we've created a rectangle. Now let's create an arc maybe. So let's click on the arc tool here. And click once there and if you hover to the other side you'll find this pink line which means it's tangent to the edge so click the second time and then you'll have to click on the third time which is on the pink line so make sure you're always clicking on the pink line so this way it divides that face then use the eraser tool which is e on your keyboard and delete that edge all right so we've created our profile that you want to wrap around this rectangle so this is another way where you can use the follow me tool Just simply select the face of the shape you want to wrap it around and then go to tools, follow me and click on the shape there, the profile. So you can see we've created our molding as well. How cool is that? So you can create multiple various shapes. So if I undo and say, for example, if I make a rectangle this way and delete this edge and now select this face, go to tools, follow me and select the profile. So you can see we created a profile of that as well. How cool is that? Finally, one last scenario, which I can show you is if you're creating a wine glass and so on. 
So for example, if I make a circle like this, let's draw a line from the center and I'm going to draw it up and I'm just going to draw a shape like this, a rectangle. And now let's use the arc tool and let's click maybe at this corner here, click again and let's draw a line like that. Maybe like this, maybe. Make sure you're snapping it to the right axis as well. I'm going to delete this shape here. All right, so we have sort of a wine shape or a wine glass shape. Now, like I mentioned in the start, select the face first, which is going to be the path and then go to tools, follow me and click on your profile. So you can see we created a cool wine glass. Now, if you want to have the opening inside, I'm going to undo. What I will do is I'll make an offset like this and then I will simply extend these lines here. So the offset tool shortcut is F, by the way. Hope you've not forgotten any of those. So now we have a cool profile like this. So let's select the face, go to tools, follow me and click on the shape. So we created a cool wine glass as well. So there are multiple scenarios where you can use the follow me tool and we will be using it in our course as well. Now, one last example that I would like to show is maybe using follow me to create case work. So I'm going to simply draw a rectangle and let's give it seven feet comma three feet and tap enter. So basically this is the shape or the size of a door shutter. So now what I will do is I'll, I will draw my profile. So I will draw a rectangle. So I will use the line tool and then draw to the center there. And now what you can do is you can give a thickness so snap it to the blue axis you know how to snap it as well give a thickness about two inches and let's draw a rectangle this way all right so we have our profile shape so now we'll need to create some pattern here so what i will do is i will use the tape measure tool and i will give the distance from the edges about three inches and let's give another three inches here. All right. And I'll also draw a guideline from the top line. So let's give about two inches. So let's give about 0.5 inches. All right. So now what I'll do, I will use the rectangle tool and simply draw on top of these guidelines here. Then I'll use the eraser tool and delete that. And as a bonus, you can also give some curve here. Or let's see, for example, let's use the circle tool here. And let's give a radius of about 5 mm. So you can type in mm as well. So type 5 mm and tap enter. And you can delete these edges there. So let's do the same for this side. Snap to the midpoint. Type 5 mm. Let's do it here as well. All right, so we have our cool shape or profile that is. So again, let's use the follow me tool. So select the face. Then let's go to tools, follow me and let's click on the profile. So you can see that we've created this cool casework shutter for our door, which looks pretty cool as well. Looks like more of a door which is used in temples in India. Finally, if you want to delete these guidelines, let's go to edit and click on delete guides. So that would delete any of the guidelines there. So these were various scenarios where you can use the follow me tool. Go ahead and practice it a bit. We will be using it in our projects in the course as well. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.